Hello, today we Ryan is on the table and Seth is on the ground. Yep, okay, sit down. All right, um, I wanna show you guys some books that don't get very much love that I think hey. sincerely deserve more love. First up, we have Maybe Science with Air. We have Science with Plants with <laughs> There are several in the series. This is science you can do at home with very little supplies. Most of them you already have. It is a quick way to teach your child science with, this one is air, and it tells you why it's science and what makes it science. Look, it compares the lungs to the balloon. And it's just, it's really, it's only six bucks and there's a bunch in this series. Well, I think there's three or four in this series. Looking at her like she knows. <laughs> um, but they don't get very much love and I think they deserve it because they are very well done. Okay, next up I have two computer books. Um, there's several that you can get different age levels in these two books, but these are, this is a lift the flap. These are incredible, you guys. My neighbor bought these for um, people at his work, adults, to learn the basics of computers and coding. And this is a lift the flap. There are a lot of flaps in here, over 100 flaps. <laughs> um, it's very good for even me. I don't know anything about computers, but that's a good reference to help teach my kids. And then coding, we have Python, and we have one for Scratch as well. These books are cool. They're hard cover with spiral bound inside, and it literally walks you through step by step how to code using Python. You can make your own little characters in your own little video game. It's pretty sweet. Okay, next I wanna show you our wrap ups. This one is seven times tables. These are awesome. We have state capitals, we have like, there's so many in all of these wrap-ups, they're pretty darn cheap, too. So there's a string that wraps around, and you do your time tables. I can't see what I'm doing, but you wrap it, and on the back, it checks you. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but there is a check on the back. So you're going to do 11 times 7 is 77, and then on the back, my string will match up where it goes. These are really cool for memorizing, and your kids can do them themselves. Okay. Next up I have this little reader. This is Lily the Elf. These are for younger readers beginning chapter books. And Lily the Elf gets a lot of love around Christmas time, but not any other time of the year. And she's not a Christmas elf, you guys. She's just an elf. And these stories are adorable with cute little lessons. And my six-year-old's beginning to read them on her own, which I think is so sweet. Okay, just imagine. This book is huge. Look how big that is. <laughs> um, Mom. Whoa, you got a pop-up book? So this book is really fun for kids to use their imagination. It's different every time you read it. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. So this says, imagine being made differently. Not really human at all. There are Legos, there's candle wax, there's um, a lot of stuff flat, a snowman, a tree, and what it would be like if you were that way. There's one that talks about what if you lived underground and you can talk to your kids and make up your own story, which is different every single time. This book definitely doesn't get enough love. It does in my house, but as far as people buying it, ordering it, it just it is so worth it. Okay, next up is color and pop-up animals. We have dinosaurs as well. We might even have another new one. So a lot of people don't buy it because it doesn't look complete. But you guys, in the back, in here, there are the faces, and you get to color and make your own pop-ups. So you color it, and then you glue the faces in. And then when you read through your book, or look through your book, I suppose, it has the pop-ups. How cool is that? Teaching your kids how to create pop-ups away from the page. Can you see what she's got? She's got a pop-up book right now. <laughs> okay, telling the time. This is such an important concept to teach our children, and this book does it beautifully. Hi. <laughs> this is the same family that's in Farm Your Tales, and they have several books that are the same family, and it talks about what they do and at what time, and as you go through, your child can change the clock to the correct time. It is a really cool way to teach your kids how to read those actual clocks. <laughs> okay, last step I wanna show you really quick. This book is huge. It is full of so much information. This has been spread through my whole family. We love this book. This is great for, I know. This is great for homeschooling. It's also just great for time with your family, teaching your kids all these different art concepts or even just yourself. 
There's even a page to draw Robux, and I love Robux. <laughs> As you go through, but there are more mosaics, there are quilting, there are so many different art ideas. As you go through this book, you could use this for a lifetime. Complete book of art ideas. Oh, she wants crackers. <laughs> I guess I better go. Can you say bye? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> there are honey crackers.